So I've got all my envelopes by fives and I have eight sets. And now I'm going to make the page and I'm going to fit the page to my envelopes. So my envelope sets did not all end up the same length. So I'm going to take the longest, which is this one. And I've placed it on my cardstock. And this is a nice size. So I went with 8 5 8 by 6 3 quarters. So now we're going to need 17, 17 pieces of cardstock, about 65 to 67 pounds is good enough. And for the pages, we're going to cut four 10 and an eighth by six 7 eighths. And we're going to cut four 8 5 eighths by 6 3 quarters. So these are for the pages. And for the inserts, we need eight pieces that are eight and a quarter by six and a half, round the corners. And we're gonna keep the short piece that is about two, two and a half inch wide to make tabs. So I have a tab punch, which is easy, but if you don't have one, what you do is you cut about two, two and a half inch, and you fold it in half, and you make a shape like this. Then you're going to place this shape on top of the other one. Trace around. Turn it over and decide how wide do you want your tab to be. Let's make it this wide. Cut around here. Turn it over and cut around here. This might be a little bit long for tab, so let's cut off a little bit. So here you now have a template for a tab and you make two more. So we're making those tabs and then we're going to set those aside. Make four for, for, for the four inserts. And we're going to put the inserts also aside for later. We're going to concentrate on the pages first. And I'm going to take the long one and your scoreboard. Cut at three quarter. This is the wrong side. I, I score on the wrong side, flip it over to the front and score on the front. Do the other short side. Score at three quarters and three quarters. It makes it so much easier to fold this part over. Remove our scoreboard. So as you can see, one is sh a, little, a little bit shorter than the other one, and that's because the inserts are gonna go in here and it makes it for easier access. Now we want to trim off that little piece over here on both sides. So I'm gonna draw this on the paper so that you can see. So I want this to be as wide as this. Wow, why don't I use this as a guide? Okay. I'm going to use my paper as a guide to trim off the excess. Yeah, my pen works. Don't go past the score line. Repeat on the other side. And trim this off and make sure that your pen or pencil line is included. I see I went past that. You'd rather not have that because this will be visible. Now we're going to add glue or tape on the flaps here. Make sure your glue or tape goes all the way to the end of your flap and up until the score line. Not over, not past the score line. And I like to add a little bit of glue so that I have a little bit of time to manipulate the other side. Turn this over. And match it up so that it all fits. Okay, you gotta go up. 
don't press on it yet. You still have time to move it around. Give it some time to adhere properly. And repeat for the other side. All right, so our tube is finished. And now I like to round the corners. And I should have done that before, but it just fits in here. There we go. Now we're gonna make the inserts first before we're going to make the spine because we need everything in one bulk to see how our hidden spine is going to work out. So now I'm going to work on the inserts. We need two pages for the inserts. We can glue them together later. I want to first concentrate on making the pockets. Now we're going to make the pockets of the inserts and we're using the strip that was cut off from making our pockets and the triangles that we cut off the flaps of the pockets. We need 32 triangles and I have cut mine so that the short edge is four inches. But if you can make it four and a quarter, then you have a little bit more paper to make the pockets with. Okay, so then we're going to collect the strips that we've taken off our papers and we're gonna cut them to one seven eighths by six and a half. And mine are one seven eighths because I cut off on both ends because I have warped paper but if you have straight paper you can make this two inches if you want it's easier measurement then on the triangles I've placed a piece of tape and I'm going to fold over the top of the the long end of the triangle so that it is a nicer edge for the for, for the inserts I'm not going to do it with the straight because I don't have room for that and you can also score this at 3 eighths of an inch, fold over, and then apply glue to the 3 eighths of an inch. But I'm using double-sided tape, so my tape acts as a folding line. And my tape is between a quarter and 3 eighths of an inch wide. And after that, you're going to cut off those little triangles. Just a quick tip, once you scored it and folded it over, cut off the tips before applying glue. I uh, showed you how to do that after you've glued it down, but it's better to do that before you glue it down. Because this way you don't have to deal with the excess glue on the tip that you're gonna cut off. Then you're gonna apply tape or glue to three sides of the rectangle and take the tape off then you're going to grab your triangles make sure the triangle is wrong side up and place this in the corner the next one also wrong side up and in the other corner then we also need to use a little bit of glue in here but because you can't really measure that so I don't know when where that will be so I will just add this later with regular glue okay and we're gonna make 16 of these 